We are here with Gio Bacchanal. He plays Leo Frank in the cast um, performance of Parade. Cast, of course, stands for the Commonwealth Artists Summer Theater. So we are here with Gio. We're going to answer some questions with him. Gio, yes. where are you from? Uh, originally, I'm in the Philippines. That's okay. where my family comes from. And where do you go to school? I go to Newport Central Catholic High School. Okay. And are you from like Newport or Fort Thomas or? Where Actually, I live in Alexandria. Okay, Alexandria. Got some fans out there, probably. Um, what grade are you in? I'm going to be a senior this year. Okay. And do you have any idea where you're going to college? Not a clue. <laughs> hey, I haven't thought about that. That's okay. You got time. Um, and you play Leo Frank. Um, and you said you went to Newport Central Catholic. Have you done any other shows there? Yes, ever since my freshman. Year. Okay, which, name some of your favorites. Freshman year, we did Susical, and I was the cat in the hat. Nice. Yeah. Last year, we did Hairspray, and I was Courtney Collins. And this past year, we did Anything Goes, and I played the role of Billy Crocker. Nice. We got, we got a star on our hands, folks. It's out of control. Do you play any instruments? I do. Which ones? Uh, I've taken violin for about two to three years, and piano for about a year. Okay, there we go. He could also be in the orchestra if you need him, so out there. Um, do you take any voice or acting or dance or any kind of lesson? Um, voice wise, yes, I do have a, vo a vocal teacher. Who is it? Uh, Scott Wyatt. Shout out to Scott Wyatt. Way to go, Scott. Any other lessons? Um, the most acting I've ever learned was uh, last summer at the Governor's School for the Arts. Okay. Mm -hmm. GSA, there we go. Yep. Do you have any special talents? Special talents? No, I take pride in my accents. Accent? Give me one. What can you do? Uh, there, are, there are three types of British. Okay. The first type are those people who live in, in the slums of England. You know, they don't know how to speak the proper grammar. And then there's the rich, the upper class, the ones who are snooty and think they are smarter than you. <laughs> then at the top, there is the Queen of England. Yes. The Queen. Oh, fetch me my tea towels. <laughs> Yes! Oh, I love it. Thank I you. wish I was British, but it will never happen. We all do. Tell me, give me a, like a short synopsis of Parade. Well, I'd say Parade is, is a very beautiful story. It's about the transition of a man who uh, loses everything that he has because he's accused for uh, a murder that he did not commit, or he may have committed. And by the end of it, he gains the one thing that he never really had, and that was probably the love of his life. Okay, there we go. Do you have, if you're getting ready for a show, do you have any pre-show routines that you go through? Tongue twisters, voice warm-ups. The big black bug with the big black bear, and the big black bear with the blue black blood. Look at that. Um, if you, here's a good one. You're, of all of the castmates that you work with, if you could switch roles, who would it be and why? Connor Blankenship, who plays Hugh Dorsey, who is the chief uh, prosecutor against me. Okay. Um, I think so because I think it'd be really fun to play the bad guy every once in a while. I'm with you. I want to yeah. play the I want to play the evil person in some show. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Of, the, of all of your parade castmates, which one would you say is the funniest off stage? Probably uh, Max Colville. <laughs> That it doesn't really help that he's standing there to <laughs> give this interview. <laughs> Max, okay. And what, what makes him funny? Oh, it's just the little side jokes that he makes. I you know, I love his uh, mannerisms when he talks. Yes. He's a, he's a great guy. If you could play any part in any show, be it Broadway or anywhere, which show would it be and what character would you play? Scar from the Lion King. Perfect. See a scar. Okay. And describe this show in three words. Parade in three words. Exciting. Nerve wracking. And pretty. 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 Exciting, nerve wracking, and pretty. Alright, and your favorite song from the show? Uh it's hard to speak my heart. Okay. <laughs> Is that the song or are you just uh... <laughs> it's it's <laughs> Don't worry about it. Your favorite scene from the show? Oh, there's a
there's a certain scene where I get to yell at my wife. And I'm not usually the man, I'm not usually the type of person who, who, who screams and gets angry. Yes. So it's kind of a way for me to let me off uh, steam. Okay. That's acceptable. Who's the director of the show? Oh, Jason Burgess. Tell me about him. Jason is an interesting guy. He's, <laughs> he's, I mean, uh, he's not in any, he's not like any other directors that I know. And that, that's what makes him so unique and so special. Yes. You know, he's, he's got this brilliant image of, of what he wants in his head, and whenever, whatever direction he gives us, it turns out to be really beautiful. I'm with you. Jason, you're wonderful. What do you do during intermission? Eat. I <laughs> love to eat. What do you eat? Uh, usually, what's, uh, mostly, if there's a healthy choice, I'll go for that. Uh, I love orange peels, grapes, mostly. Green or red? Red. Yes. Okay, here's the special random one. Okay. Do you follow Broadway stars? Do you kind of know Broadway shows? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What is your favorite Broadway show? Spam. Spam. That's a good one. I thought Spam. I saw that the year and off. Yeah. Your favorite show, too? Uh, from Spam a lot, then it, it is pro it's probably um, You Won't Succeed on Broadway. <laughs> that's, that's a really good one. And if you could have dinner with any Broadway star, who would it be and why? Sutton Foster. She is beautiful, she is talented, oh. and I, and any show that she's in just frightens it up. She is so, I love, she's like quirky too. She yes. just yeah. doesn't care what anyone thinks about her. Amazing. Sutton, you're wonderful. If you were a cartoon character, who would you be and why? Who I would love to be would probably be Timmy Turner, just so I could get Fairy Godfather. Timmy Turner! Fairy yes! Godfather. Forgot about him. Oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> That's good. You can have all the wishes you want. Yeah. And that leads me to my next question. If you had three wishes, what would they be? The power to fly. I, I, I want to say very rich, but not in a conceited way. That's I don't okay. want to sound so... You, you want unlimited money. For Middle Earth to exist. Okay. And now, it's the part that everyone loves. Okay. <laughs> it's the lightning round. The lightning round. Get ready, folks. Alright. This is where... Geo has to decide between the two things that I give him. He's got only a few seconds to decide. Your first one is, would you rather see an opera or a musical? Musical. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Mac or PC? Mac. iPhone or Android? iPhone. Watch TV or a movie or read a book? Depends what book, but probably watch a movie. Beach or lake? Beach. Morning or night? Night. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Hot dogs or hamburgers? Hamburgers. Staycation or vacation? Vacation. Fly or invisibility? Fly. We already, we already discussed that. Okay, your favorite movie? Uh, the Lord of the Rings. I think. All, 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 all three of them. It's okay. one movie. Too. The series? Um, your favorite ice cream flavor? The blueberry from King's Island. Your favorite cook? The Outsiders by Essie King. Your favorite TV show? Easily The Walking Dead. Yes, The Walking Dead. Your favorite type of music? Uh, musicals and show tunes. Okay. Your favorite season? Spring. Okay. And your favorite food? Ice cream. There you go, and his blueberry. He, you will find Geo at King's Island Thank all you. the time with his blueberry ice cream. This has been Behind the Scenes with the uh, camera behind the curtain with Gio Bakunawa. Yes. He is in Parade, Leo Frank, and it opens July 12th, is that correct? And check out the uh, dates down below. Come and see Parade. Say goodbye to your fans in Fort Thomas. Bye, thank you everybody.